Welcome to the 11th video in the series MVMED Unfolded, a complete guide to the MVMED software. In the last video, we explained how to create our own 3D plant using the program Albero. In this video, we will cover some important and useful functions of the program by explaining the plant tools. We will begin with Albero opened and our project selected. We first need to select the plant that we want to modify. Let's use our custom plan from the last video. We will then click on the Plan Tools tab. At the top left of the window, Albero offers a few important and useful tools for modifying and previewing different aspects of our 3D plant. The first feature listed in the Plan Tools tab is called Preview Different Resolutions. This feature simply allows us to view our plant as it would appear in our model area under different model resolution sizes. By default, Albero has a cell resolution size of 1 cubic meter. However, we are capable of having a lower resolution size in our actual model area in order to improve computing times. Our plant's visual look may change, but the actual size and parameters will remain constant. The next feature, Scale Plant, enables us to scale our plant to a larger or smaller size. If we click on this tool, a new window appears. The top of the window displays the current size dimensions of our plant. The middle area allows us to scale our plant to a new height. Let's change it to 15 meters instead of 25. We can also check or uncheck several boxes that affect the scaling of our plant. For example, we can choose to keep the height and width ratio of the tree crown or not. If we uncheck this box, the ratio is not maintained. Our plant's width will remain unchanged and only the height of our plant will be shortened. If the box is checked, the width of the plant will be scaled appropriately to our new height value and the overall shape of our plant will remain the same. The boxes labeled Adjust Root Diameter and Adjust Root Depth simply ask if the root system of our plant should be scaled to the new size of our tree. At any time, we can click on the button Update Data slash Preview in order to preview the look and the new values of our scaled plant. In the bottom of the window, we can see the new dimensions of our plant after we modify it. If we are satisfied with our changes, we can click on the Scale Plant button in the bottom right of the window to finalize the scaling of our plant. The next feature we have is called Generate Implicit Volume. This feature allows us to grow or shrink the leaf structure of our plant as a whole by allowing Albero to generate or remove leaf structure around our plant. The active range box at the top of the window refers to the radius of the action of this feature around each current leaf structure grid cell when applied. The checkbox Weigh new LED values with inverse distance instructs Albero to decrease the LED of the newly generated leaf structure cells the farther from the original point that they are generated. This means that newly added cells at the outside edges of the newly generated structure will have a lower LED or sparser leaf structure than the cells generated closer to the original point. This idea holds true for most real plant structures. Once the Generate 3D Volume button is clicked, Albero adds new leaf structure to our plant. Please keep in mind that this tool cannot generate LED cells outside of the plant model area. If too much LED structure is added to the plant, it may end up with flat sides that border the edge of the allowable plant area. If we want to remove leaf structure, we can select the checkbox Remove LED Values. Please keep in mind that the Implicit Volume tool adds LED leaf structure cells in a radius around all current LED cells, including the ones at the center of our plant, where there should be empty space left for the trunk of our tree. Filling in this space may lead to problems with the finalized data from our simulation. The last set of tools Albero offers is the Tree Calendar tools. These tools can modify the LED profiles of our plants over the course of a year. Just as real deciduous plants lose their leaf structure in winter and generate new leaf structure in spring. By clicking on the Tree Calendar Tools button, we can see a variety of options. For example, we can change the profile of our plant to deciduous or conifer based on if our plant changes its leaf structure with the seasons or not. We can also set our Tree Calendar table to the northern or southern hemisphere based on the particular months that seasons fall on. We can edit the values of our table by clicking here. Once the tree calendar table is opened, we can see the LED ratios of our plant for each month of the year. We are free to edit the table based on more specific data we may have regarding our plant. If we are completely done editing our plant, we can click on either of these buttons here to update our database with the modifications to our plant. 
This concludes our explanation of the Albero program. For a detailed tutorial on the L trees, please follow the link in the description of this video. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next video, where we will begin designing our model area.